student debt forgiveness. It is a hot topic with no shortage of opinions. Both the White House and Democrats on Capitol Hill are now pushing to cancel some of the $1.7 trillion in student debt owed by Americans. Question, though, is that the right move? Angela Brown joins us right now with the details on that. Angela, what'd you find out on this story? Well, Jan, leading Democrats in Congress say up to $50,000 worth of student debt should be forgiven for every person. President Biden is pushing for roughly closer to $10,000 in forgiveness. But no matter the number, there's growing concern over how student debt forgiveness could impact our economy and the message it sends to graduates who have already paid off their loans. I could say it's unfair, but that, I guess that would be an understatement. Matt Noyes is a graduate of the University of Albany, and like many students, he relied on loans to help pay his way through school. But those loans did not last long. Matt says he made personal sacrifices to keep his expenses down right out of college, allowing him to quickly pay back what he owed. Now he says the Democrats' plan to forgive student debt would put all of those sacrifices in vain. If I had known my debt was going to be forgiven, I would have made very different choices. Uh, for one, instead of brewing coffee at home for 10 cents a cup, I, you know, I would have gone to Starbucks every day because if the federal government's going to pick up the tab, why not? Congressional Democrats insist canceling student debt would jumpstart an American economy ravaged by the effects of the coronavirus pandemic. There's very little that the president could do with the flick of a pen that would boost our economy more than canceling $50,000 in student debt. It'll be a huge push into our economy. But Brandon Arnold, the executive vice president of the National Taxpayers Union, says it would do exactly the opposite, adding to the $27 trillion national debt and forcing generations of American taxpayers to foot the bill for other people's college education. Eventually those money, those dollars are going to have to be paid back. They're going to have to be paid back by our children, our grandchildren, future generations. This higher debt is going to be a lag on the economy. Student debt forgiveness also raises questions about the root problem, the ballooning cost of college tuition. Angela Morabito represents the watchdog group Campus Reform. She thinks canceling student debt would embolden colleges to charge more in the long run, adding fuel to the student debt crisis. Whether the amount of student loan forgiveness is $10,000, $50,000, or some other arbitrary number in between, colleges are going to know immediately that they can raise their prices by that amount. They know that every single potential student's budget just increased by whatever dollar amount the Democrats have agreed that taxpayers should cover out of their tuition. On the campaign trail, President Biden pitched a plan to make public colleges tuition free for families making less than $125,000 per year. Jan, we're going to stay on top of the story and bring you any updates. All right, Angela, thanks so much.